Good day. Today we're going to be learning how to use the diorama effect in GIMP. It's going to be a sweet lesson. Let's rock and roll. First of all, though, we have to do a little bit of uh, prep and setup uh, with our computers. We're going to have to uh, download a script, okay, and put that into our scripts folder in GIMP. So what you're going to do is make sure you have NHACS Online open, okay, and your first step is going to be to download this script. So please go ahead, click on Vibrant Script. Okay, it's going to download the Vibrant Script to your Downloads folder. Okay, from there, what you're going to do is you're going to take that script and put it in a special folder that GIMP can read. To do that, open up Macintosh HD. Go ahead then to your house. Okay, see how I've got this on the left here, scroll down, and for me it's Jay Fleming, okay, it's not going to be Jay Fleming for you unless you're Jay Fleming, <laughs> okay, uh, so please click on there, all right, then what you're going to do is you're going to go to your downloads folder, downloads folder, double click on it, and I have a bunch of other stuff in here, but what you're going to be doing is you're going to find there it's going to be called uh, eg-colorvibrance.scm, it's a fancy way, it's a script we're going to be using. So you're going to either right click or control click and do a copy. Okay, copy eg blah 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 dot scm. Copy that. Okay, then what you're going to do is go back to your house. Okay, then what you're going to be doing is you're going to go to library, application support, GIMP. And then scripts. You're going to have to scroll down. Scripts, let's double click on that. And let's paste that in there. I already have mine in there, but you're going to do paste item. Okay? For me, this won't happen for you, but click on replace. All right, now it's in our scripts folder. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to open up GIMP now. Okay? We got GIMP open. All right, and we're going to go to filters. And then we're going to scroll down here where it says script foo, all right, and we're going to click on refresh scripts, okay? That's going to check our script folder for any custom stuff that we put in, which we just did. All right, we are now ready to start on our project. So go back to NHACS online, click on cityscape, okay? That's going to download, see, that's going to download that picture that we're going to be working with, and it opens up in preview. Obviously, we don't want to open up in Preview. We want to open up in GIMP. So let's close that. Close our Downloads folder. You can also click on here. Let's click on Diorama Effect. That's going to give us our written instructions that we're going to be using. So open up then that picture you just downloaded. Uh, open that up in GIMP. So do a file open. Again, let's go here. Go to J Fleming. For you, it'll be different. J Fleming. Then Downloads. And then let's open that. It's called cityscape.jpg. Let's open that up. Okay. Assign. Okay, so we got our cityscape here. Now let's look at what our first step is in our instructions. Okay, we're going to start here. We're going to create a what's called a focal point for our diorama. So that's going to be like sort of where the, the eyes, where the focus of the picture is going to be. So let's go ahead. Let's pick our... Uh, our circle tool, circle selection tool, double click on that, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to pick a spot sort of in the middle here where we're going to set, uh, I'm going to zoom in a second here, I'm just going to press the plus button. I'm going to have the center, like the focal point be, let's go with what they've got. So let's go ahead here, just draw this circle, okay? Right about y'all. Okay, so what we got here is we got our focal point set up. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we are going to, after we've got that selection, we're actually going to then invert the selection. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's go to select, invert, and then now everything but that center point is now, now selected. So we're then, we're then, and this is new for me, I learned something with this one, we're now going to feather the selection. You guys remember with the lasso tool, how you could select that option? We're going to make it so that this circle is less jagged. So let's go here, let's go to select, feather, and we're going to set it up, let's put that value as 400, 400 pixels, okay? 
So now you see, you see that got a little bit, that's a little different now. So then we are going to blur, okay, everything else but that focal point. So let's go ahead here to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and we're going to set in, set in, we'll do seven and seven, okay? Click on okay. That's going to blur everything but that center point, that focal point, okay? So there we go. We got that done. All right. Now what we're going to do is we got to do a select none. All right. From there, we're going to go to colors, then curves, and we're just going to make a slight adjustment, just like it is in the directions. It really just you can see I think it live updates. It updates a little bit. We're just going to make a slight sort of curve there. Okay. Click on OK. And then we're going to be using that script that we had downloaded. Okay. So we're going to go to filters. Then this is new. E.g. color vibrance. Okay. From there, we're going to set our values to 11.67. And then 97.05. Okay, those values again 11.67, 97.05. Okay, then we're going to click on OK. All right, so there we go. Now, what we have here, what our objective was was to make it so it looked like this was a unreal thing, almost like it was a diorama. I think we've succeeded with that. I wish you the best of luck with this assignment.